because you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Beside you, there is no other God. And if you does not watch it over a city, the watchman watch it in vain. And if you does not build a house, they never labor in vain. Father, this time, this season, this year, we ask that you come and build for us. We ask that you come and watch over us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, because you are a great God. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you for all you have been doing for us. May your name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, eternal rock of ages, in the name of Jesus Christ. This moment, I come to you once more again, viewers all over the whole world. I have come in the name of Jesus that you might receive from your heavenly Father, who has set you apart, who has set you for divine blessings, for a divine goal, for the year 2022. Yes, I want you to know that all these years, you have been planning on your own. You have been doing things on your own. You have excluded God from your plans. And you have been doing things the way you want to do them. But in all, all you, you, you get in return is failure, disappointment. Things are not working the way they are supposed because you never allowed Jesus to lead you. So the year 2022 is a year that you must allow Jesus to lead you, to take the lead. You have been leading yourself and you have not been making it. Please, can you allow Jesus to lead you? Can you allow Jesus to lead you? If only you allow Jesus to lead you, everything shall be well with you. I want to let you know, it has happened before, in the days of Abraham. Abraham and his wife Sarah, they were in their business. They never con contact God. They never, they, they never make Jesus part of their plans. They plan and they do whatever they want to do on their own. They, Jesus was not in the picture. Jesus was absent in their plans. Yes, Sarah said to Abraham, Abraham, my master, I want you to take my servant, her guy, take her and let her be your wife. Abraham agreed with Sarah. There are plans you see, sometimes you think it is right, but at the end, it brings pains and sorrows. Sarah said to Abraham, take her guy, my servant. Make her your wife, sleep with her. Perhaps we will get child from her. To Abraham, it was a good plan. To Sarah, it was a good plan. But they never consult God. And it was not a good plan. I don't know the plan that you are, you are into. I don't know what you want to do. I don't know the, your dreams. How you are planning your dreams. I don't know. But Abraham and Sarah had a dream. Their dream is to make sure they have an heir that will succeed them. But you know what? It was not a good plan. Maybe today you are, you are now embarking in some plans that you never, you never consult God. You never ask God, is it good for me to embark in this? But this was the plan of Sarah and Abraham. And Abraham slept with Agai. And Agai got pregnant and gave birth to Ishmael. Do you know what happened? He gave birth to his son. Do you know what happened? He thanked him. God blessed Sarah. 
And when God blessed Sarah, as Agai become pregnant, he become, she become arrogant. He never respect her, her mistress again. And she become angry. And when God blessed Sarah, and blessed Sarah with Isaac, Sarah says to Abraham, send this woman and his son away. To Abraham, it was like hell. He was in deep pains. He was not happy. Remember, he never consulted God at the first place. Because he never consulted God, God did not say anything. I want to tell you something. When you are doing your business, God minds his own business. Because your business, my friend, God, his own business. Yes, the business of Abraham fetched God's business. When Sarah said to Abraham, send her away with his son. And Abraham was bitter. He never wanted to do that. There was kind of quarrel, misunderstanding of fighting. And God called to Abraham. When you are in your business, you never call me. The way you obey Sarah and pregnant her guy without consulting me, obey her the same way and send her away with her child. Then Abraham did what God commanded him to do. I don't know the business you are embarking or what you are doing now. You left God and you put God aside because you felt that God is not important. Let me tell you, the laborer labored in vain without Jesus. The builder built in vain without Jesus. The watchman watched in vain without Jesus. Are you going to labor in vain this year? If you does not want to labor in vain, seek ye Jesus. For it is written, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto you. Make Jesus your master. Make Jesus your redeemer. Make Jesus your savior. Do not embark in this fasting. After fasting for 40 days, you left Jesus behind. You keep Jesus away. You make Jesus. You left him. You never, you never include him in your business. Before you embark in any business, consult Jesus. The business of your family, your company, your industry, your calling, your, your race as a Christian. Whatever you want to do, put Jesus first. You need Jesus in everything, both little and big. You need Jesus. You need Jesus in your health. You need Jesus to eat your food. You need Jesus to take a walk from your house. You need Jesus to return back to your house. Without Jesus, you cannot make it. I am advising you today to put Jesus first. The year 2022, you need, you need a guide. You need a, lead, a leader. Remember, we are into the year of Jesus City. Jesus governs this year. As Jesus governs, you must abide under the law of Jesus Christ. Obedient. Follow his command and it shall be well with you. I want you to know you have been doing this for your, by yourself. You have been doing it on your own. But to no avail. You have been there. You have been suffering. You have been facing a lot of crises. A lot of things. Look around you. You can see. Things are not working well. Things are not moving fine. Because you never give Jesus. The whole time. Everything about you. Some commit their job. They never commit their family. Some commit their family. They never commit their wife and children. Give Commit everything in totality, in all ratification. Commit it to Jesus and allow Jesus to take over you. When you allow Jesus to take over, everything shall be well with you. 
I want you to take your time to read the book of Genesis chapter 21. Read from verse 11 and 12. You hear God saying to Abraham, Obey the voice of Sarah. I don't know the voice you have been obeying. I don't know the, 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 the voice that has been commanding you. That you have been obeying and you put Jesus aside. It might be the voice of fornication. It might be the voice of cheating. It might be the voice of greed. It might be the voice of blasphemy. I don't know. There was ever voice you have obeying outside the voice of Jesus Christ, that voice will bring you sorrows and pain, like as he did to Abraham. Do not listen to any voice outside Jesus. Let Jesus speak to you and allow Jesus to take over you. When Jesus takes the lead, everything shall be well with you. When Jesus takes the lead, Jesus will make a way for you where there is no way. I want you to know you need Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. You need Jesus as your protection. You need Jesus as your guide. Now, I want to pray with you. Please, join me in these prayers. Join me by touching the screen of this telecast. By the authority in the name of Jesus, I speak into your life. Whatever that is making you to disobey God, to put God aside, that demon that is responsible, in the name of Jesus, I bind that demon. I chain that demon. I chain that demon. I command that demon to catch fire and burn to ashes. I declare by the authority that is in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, whatever satanic power that have been quenching your prayer life, that has made you to be weak in prayers, that does not want you to pray, whatever altar from your father's house, that have been holding you bound, that has kept you in the dark, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare light into your life, and I declare your prayer life to be kindled, the prayer light to be kindled in 200 degrees in the name of Jesus Christ. I call down the power of the Holy Ghost, let his power begin to speak for you and set you free from chains of afflictions, chains of bondage, chains that has tied you, chains of the enemy that has put you in perpetual suffering and sorrows. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. I say this year is a year of your fulfillment. It's a year that you will prosper. It's a year that you will go higher in life. It's a year that whatever you lay your hands shall be prosper. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, whatever that has been hindering you, whatever chains that the enemy has used to tie you down, that, that have been dragging you back, I command that chain to melt by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. From this moment I speak into your life, I declare. Those things that have not been going well with you, I declare, may they begin to go well with you. May they begin to walk in your favor. May they begin to obey your command. I declare that power that is in your tongue, that when you say a thing, it never come to pass. I wash your tongue with the blood of Jesus. It might be seen. It might be your tongue is defied by the authority in the name of Jesus. Whatever that has defied your tongue, in Jesus' name, I wash it away by the blood of Jesus Christ. I anoint your tongue with the fire of the Holy Ghost, that you will speak at fire. As you are fasting, your prayer shall carry power. Your prayer shall carry fire. Your prayer shall carry authority. I release authority upon your tongue. Remember, when God called, called Moses, he gave him the shepherd rod. When God called Elijah, he gave him the mantle. When God called Ezekiel, he gave him the scroll. Listen to me, you need authority. You need power. That power you must receive. Child of God, never relent. You must ask God. The, the, the word of God says, ask, you shall receive. Seek, you shall find. Knock, it shall be opened unto you. Ask God for power. Authority. That authority you have lost for years. Ask God to return that authority. Whatever you say shall come to pass. As you declare it in the name of Jesus, so shall it be. 
I release that authority upon you in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are right now, I declare the mighty hands of fire and power of the living God upon you. May these hands rest upon you for a divine upliftment. Be free and be lifted. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare. As we, as I am with this mountain today, I call the pinnacles or the four corners of the whole earth, the whole universe. I call them power. That the east, the west, the south, the north, in the name of Jesus shall vomit your blessings that will be swallowed. I release your blessings. I declare the mighty wind from the east part of heaven to bring back your blessings. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare this day, whatsoever that have been, being your master, your slave master, must bow before you today. That slave master must surrender and bow before you in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare whatever he has stolen from you all these years, may he begin to revise it now. May you begin to return it back. May you begin to receive it back in the name of Jesus. Whatever altar that has swallowed your glory, today I declare your glory to return back to you. Whatever that has swallowed your destiny, may you begin to vomit it now. May you begin to vomit it now. May you begin to vomit it now. Receive it back. Receive it back. Now, that darkness that has covered you, that darkness that has covered your world, that darkness that has covered your destiny. Yes, the word of God said, let there be light and there was light. And darkness could not comprehend it. Today, I speak to that darkness, new darkness. You have no right to judge a normal servant. In the name of Jesus, I declare light into their life, into their destiny, into their career, into their soul, into their spirit, into their health. I call their organs to order. I call their destiny to order. I call their health to order. I call their life to order. I say, be in order in Jesus' name. I free you from cancer. I free you from HIV, from COVID-19. From kidney failure, from kidney stone, from diabetes, from high blood pressure, from anything that torments you, from cholera, whatever diseases, infirmity in different form, I say be free in the name of Jesus. I declare over your life that you will not die. You shall live to declare the goodness of the Lord. Because the word of God says in the book of Isaiah 28, 18, that your covenant with death have been annulled, and your agreement with hell shall no longer hold. That demon that have been counted census of those that will depart from this earth this year will not see you because I mark you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I mark your husband with the blood of Jesus Christ. I mark your wife with the blood of Jesus Christ. I mark your children with the blood of Jesus Christ. I mark you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I place this mark of salvation upon you. You shall not die. Is it by accident? It shall not come to pass. Is it by poison? It shall not come to pass. Is it by invocation? It shall not come to pass. Is it by bullet? It shall not come to pass. Is it by stabbing? It shall not come to pass. Is it by hitting you by anything or strangling you to death? It shall not come to pass. I declare you shall not die. Every load of affliction that you are carrying, today I offload it. I declare that that load shall not be upon you again. For the word of God says in the book of Matthew 15, 13, Matthew 11, 28, he said, Come all you that labor and heavy laden. I will give you rest. This year is a year, year of rest. Yes, it's a year of rest. You must have your rest. There will be no sorrow. There will be no pains. The word of God said in the book of Matthew 15, 13, that any seed that was not planted by my heavenly father shall be planted. Every seed of sorrow means, means, means every seed of confusion. Every seed that makes you not to be comfortable. I said be uprooted in Jesus' name. Seed of idol. Seed of altars of darkness, seed of satanic plants be rooted out in Jesus' name. Today, I declare, I wipe your eyes with the blood of Jesus. There shall be no more sorrow. There shall be no more pain. There shall be no more death. 
you shall no longer suffer again. You shall no longer labor in vain. No more shall you labor. Viewers, I declare over, over you, wherever you are, in the surface of this earth, I reach out to you. So far you are under the voice of my telecast. I reach out to you by the authority that is in the name of Jesus. That power that says you will never be set free. That power, that charm that says it is irreversible and irrevocable. I revise it and I revoke it by the blood of Jesus of Nazareth. I declare where your leg cannot get to. I declare the blood of Jesus to flow to that altar where they have tied you, where they have keep, kept your money. That image they have used to reach out to you that is in the altar of darkness. I declare the blood of Jesus to overflow and swallow them. You cannot be reached by the altar because the word of God says, I created you in my own image and likeness. You cannot be image of darkness, image of any animal, image of any, 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 any graphic image. You cannot be it. But you shall be in the image of Jesus Christ. I set you free. Whosoever is after you, calling you, invoking you, whosoever you have given your money that has taken your money to evil altar to tie you down in the witch's cover, in the marine altar, in the Ogbanje altar, in the Ashram, wherever you take your money to, I say, may that money turn into fire and consume and destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, I declare over you, receive peace in the name of Jesus. Receive peace in an abundance. Receive peace in abundance. Receive peace in abundance. Receive peace in abundance in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for answering my prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for doing a new thing. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your provisions. Thank you because you have delivered your children. Today, that, 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 that grief site which they have dug for you, that coffin where they have put you and nailed you, I break it into pieces and I set you free. I declare angels to cover up that grave site. You cannot be buried. You cannot die. I don't know if you're in coma now. I don't know if you're in coma. I don't know if you're in a sick bed. But I declare, so far you can hear me. I declare, so even though you cannot hear me, I call you back from wherever they are. Hey, the captain. I say, be free. Be free. Be free. Be free by the authority in the name of Jesus. As you touch this, tel this telecast, as you touch the screen of this telecast, I shall receive your healing. 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 I shall receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you something. For a good seven days, I want you to shout Jesus seven times by midnight. Say, Jesus, shout it seven times and say, take more of me and give me more of you. Do not forget. Do not forget it. Seven times every midnight. Shout Jesus seven times. Take more of me. Jesus, take more of me and give me more of you. Jesus, take more of me and give me more of you. Jesus, take more of me and give me more of you. Jesus, take more of me and give me more of you. Jesus, take more of me and give me more of you. Seven good times. Let me tell you something. When you began with this prayer, it's going to be for seven good days. You will have a lot of revelations. Because the Lord Jesus is going to redeem his own. Let me tell you, put your faith in the mind. The Lord cannot say a thing and it come to that it will not come to pass. Whatever the Lord says must surely come to pass. Remember, Jesus loves you more than you love yourself. I said, remember this. Remember, it doesn't matter if people hate you. What that matter is that you love yourself. Try to love yourself. When you love yourself, you give, you give yourself to Jesus. So because you love yourself, give yourself to Jesus. Don't care about those that hate you because it doesn't matter. What that matters is that you love yourself. I want you to know that Jesus loves you. It's what that matters. Thank you child of God. Thank you. Heir to the throne of heaven. Remember, Shalom. Shalom.